Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's whip and chat time. So I've pulled out my dynamic floral again. So far, I haven't done any of this off camera. So this has been on any dynamic floral whip and chats so far. It may or may not get a little bit of my time when I'm not doing cosmic, uh, but we have it where we left off last time. So I've got quite a big section uncovered, um, but by the looks of it, I do have not too many more to do in this section. Just trying to check if that is actually raised up or not. Anyway, I'm using uh, the blue AMZ tray. This is the next colour that we're hoping to launch as a basic colour. Um, we are just printing up stock levels. Um, so as soon as we can put this on the website, we will let you know. We just need a decent amount of stock. It is a matte tray, so it does have a slight different feel to the others. Um, I'm also using the wooden pen that we have managed to get more of. I was unsure for a while um, because while we'd placed the order, they didn't seem to be on their way to us. Um, but we now have them in-house. So hopefully we will have these wooden pens as an item for you to be able to purchase as well. It's on my list slash pile of stock and boxes that have been arriving feels like well in fact it has been pretty much every day uh, we've had a quite a bit of a mixture of new stock items and advent items and yeah um, it, it's in that pile uh, but we do have them so we will get those released as soon as we can and as I say as soon as the trays um, are stocked up enough to be able to launch it as a basic colour then we will. So I'm just going to continue to tease you with the first one. Be glad I haven't shown you the third one. We're planning on trying to bring out three more basic colours as standard to have all the time. Yeah be glad I haven't shown you all of them yet. Uh, but yeah we're working on it the say we've printed a, at least a batch or two of each of the colors but now we're concentrating on primarily the blue uh, but also some of the green so hopefully it'll be in pretty quick succession um, we'll be able to launch the three colors depending on how many printers I can put on to the task of printing uh, trays for us all. So yeah, I hope everybody is having a great day, having a, a productive day, whether that be you're settling down and having me time, or whether it be other things that you're getting on with over the weekend. But comments and questions uh all things crafted by kaz so a lot of these comments are on my first whip and chat of cosmic which was last sunday uh, occasionally i have a comment on an older video an older whip and chat um which tends to have been watched recently by somebody but most of these comments are on Cosmic. Uh, and Kaz, she says, wow, this looks colourful. Yes, Cosmic is very colourful. Uh, I got to do another bit of it last night. I was very tempted to bring it in for today's Whip and Chat. But I thought, no, let's mix it up a little bit. Dynamic floral still needs doing. I still want to do it. It's different doing the rhinestones. Um, so I thought it will give chance for a little bit more of Cosmic to actually get done as well. So you can see a bit more of a change when I bring Cosmic back for a whip and chat. 
I'm sure there'll be enough whip and chats by the end of it on Cosmic because it's a very big painting and it's going to take me a while to get through that one, especially if I do decide to have a pause and do some of dynamic floral. I've not yet decided um, whether to have a pause. I'm not quite at the point where I'm like, I want to pause yet. It's still rather new, Cosmic. Uh, still enjoying the process that it's new. But then every time I get out dynamic floral to do a whip and chat, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind doing some on this as well. So I may mix it up in the future. We shall see. But we're on a deep purple rhinestone for this one. It's a really nice one. What colour is this one? 3837. It's a really nice purple. Um, Jeanette said she did receive her order. Uh, so this was one of the international ones that are definitely going slower. Uh, they do seem to be a lot slower to get to people, but they are getting to people. That's people outside of the US and the UK. Uh, for the US, we have an alternative courier um, that seems to be your standard five to seven days. Um, but then there is the occasional, if you are in, I think, Alaska or Hawaii, then it has to go via raw mail, so that tends to be a bit longer. But they are getting there, so be patient. Um, Jeanette has been more than patient, uh, but she has her order, which is wonderful. So thank you for letting us know, Jeanette. Uh, Cat Lady, she says, a Cosmic is looking great. She said it's a very colourful which it is. She said, you're working on it fast too. I have phases, I think, when it comes to how fast I get to work on something or not. Um, I ha I've had a few nights this last week where I haven't touched my diamond painting at all. So it seems to have had, you know, a, fl a few non-moving days uh, but then I am hoping I'm actually filming this video on Thursday um, I'm trying to get all my videos filmed for next week so that I can have a weekend off from filming and just have a whole weekend off just pottering around the house and uh, yeah, just no no particular plans, just taking it as it comes. Um, it really depends. I've got a few long videos that need doing this week and I have a very busy day tomorrow. So I'm actually not sure if I'm going to manage it, but I'm going to try. So maybe I will get quite a bit more of Cosmic done if I do get a weekend off. But we shall see. I can always hope, but days just go so fast, so fast. The morning is always taken up with, um, you know, replying to emails and packing orders and getting them all ready for dispatch. Always tends to take up the whole morning. Um, but the afternoon flies by. By the time I've done one or two long videos, the afternoon's gone. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I might get a bit more done this next week. It's probably another reason it's good to do dynamic floral for a bit. Uh, so get a bit more of Cosmic done so there is a bit more of a change uh, before you get to see Cosmic again. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it. I did get some done last night, so it's not it's not all bad. Uh, Darcy, she said, uh, hi Rebecca, she said she finally bit the bullet and she ordered some smaller Tic Tac containers. 
she says she already had the big ones. Uh, plus, she's reordered some four mil bags. Uh, she's looking at the site and she's seeing items that she needs to order soon. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, new items on the site, I say, with many more to come. We're constantly working on different things, different ideas uh, for accessories for your diamond painting so that you can yeah, just, just make the hobby that little bit easier, that little bit nicer. This glue dot is so sticky. I keep dabbing it on the skin on my face trying to uh, loosen the sticky just a little bit so that I can place these rhinestones. Uh, Colleen, um, she says, what are these like to use? She says, because I was thinking of buying one. She said, just try one. She says, though, can you tell me, are they better than the pink pen uh, that come with the kit? Um, she says she's she's got to load all the time on it. Um, so the however much you have to load up your pen um, tends to depend on what you have in your pen tip. So I use glue dots and you do not need to load them all the time. I have been known to get a full large painting out of a glue dot. Um, I occasionally may need to top up with a small glue dot or I occasionally may need to take out the glue dot and put it back in just so that it gets a different edge of it. Um, but I have... I have before now put a glue dot in and apart from taking it out and popping it back in, done a full painting with one. Um, so I would use that. In relation to using a pen that's not the pink pen, a lot of the time it primarily, it is the fact that it is comfier to hold. Um, they tend to be bigger so they're easier to grip than the thin pink pens um, and they're also prettier to look at so that's not a bad thing it can uh, make you smile because it's prettier to look at uh, Liz she says hi she says thanks Rebecca she said she loves the tray that I was using so on last week's I used the pale green tray uh, she said she can see another tread, another tray heading her way. I'm sure there will be plenty of time for you to add it to your collection when we release them. Uh, she said she's not feeling the best today as she is recovering from a migraine. Ooh. Uh, she said she's kitted up the three gnomes from Diamond Art Club. Uh, which she'll be doing for a diamond painting event and part of a diamond painting, uh, part of a diamond art club challenge, Facebook challenge. She said, not sure if it'll be the picture um, for No 310 or one with a flower as it fits both categories, she said. She said she loves the cover paper she got in the advent calendar. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's the same cover paper that we sell in the shop that was in the advent. Uh, you got a full pack. So it's the same full pack of cover paper in last year's advent as it was, as it is in the shop. So if you ever need more or a restock, though you do get 50 sheets, uh, if you ever need more or a restock, then you know where to find them. I've probably got about 100 and odd sheets floating about. I always think that, oh yeah, I'll have enough. You know, one pack will be enough. And then I end up kitting up a few different paintings and all of a sudden I don't have enough. So for the 30 by 40 paintings, I cover the whole painting. Whereas for a large one, I just cover two strips of the painting and I reuse the same ones all the way through the painting. I just move them up a level. 
as I go along and it tends to work perfect. So I've got some really, really dark colours. The number three and the number five that are mixed in in some of these are actually a little bit tricky to see. I can imagine me missing a few when it comes to this painting. Hopefully I'll catch them eventually. Hold them in different lights. Uh, Lady Dax, she says, hi, yeah, she said, hope you feel better soon. Oh, I'm still full of it. I'm still, this cold does not seem to want to go away. Uh, it keeps having moments where it knocks me a little bit more for six than others. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping it will vacate soon. Um, she says, plenty of honey. She says, uh, garlic and turmeric, she said, is what you need for that there cold. <laughs> she also says, ooh, 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 coloured tweezers. She says, that is an exciting tease. Yeah, there's a few colours that are still, we're still waiting to come in. Some of the colours that we wanted, we actually had to get from a different supplier to what we normally do and they seem to be a bit slower um, but yeah it's one of the many goodies that are in my processing in section uh, but because Megan has been off this last week for half term uh, we've been getting a lot of things finalized for the advent calendar for this year a uh, lot of things that needed sorting sorted, which has been great. Uh, but yeah, I haven't so much been processing goods in. I've just been piling them up. So that will probably be my week next week, which I am not arguing with because I absolutely love it. I absolutely love processing everything as it comes in. So I'll have a little field day. I'll pick a different thing each afternoon. And after orders and everything are done, I'll be like, oh, what do I fancy sorting out today? Uh, get all the shelves fit, stocked up in the craft room, get the nice new units all stocked up with the overstock. Um, yeah, should be should be good, good fun. And yeah, I'll have I'll have a whale of a time. Might take me a couple of weeks to get through everything, depending on how much prep work I need to do. But I'll be in my element. It's amazing what other things it takes to run a business that's not just packing orders. I just keep trying to move this in different lights. See, I have missed a number eight and I did those before trying to make sure that I don't miss any of these rhinestones because some of them say are really quite tricky. Right, let's get this number eight and then I'm going to try and get those awkward colours. I managed to pick up two. Let's put that one in there. Let's do these number three and number five. Number five, I think there is actually only two of them. So I'll just take them straight out of the pots. They're quite big pots, these. So I can actually reach a diamond that is flat on the bottom. So that's the number five. Actually rubbing my hand over helps, but there is quite a few number three. It's actually a dark brown or a brown colored rhinestone. And they're dotted everywhere but the colour it's actually a white number three so it's harder to see than the others do I have one more I've got one more I don't think I have another one well okay let's do the number twos I have a couple of those 
dotted as well. I have a few in here. And then I have one tucked in there. At least now they're black lettering. So I've got a couple down here, but then most of my stuff's now up here. That's left in this section anyway. And then we might be peeling off another section. Rhinestones do really seem to stick even more so to glue dots or your pens. Um, Lady Dax also says she says she is loving the look of this painting. She said she hopes it won't be long before it's back in stock. She said uh, their Australian cousin sent them a late Yule present of £50. So P. Jelly um, wants Cosmic on the wall as much as she wants to do it. So we're putting, they're putting money towards it to be able to pick it up. Yeah, I don't know how long their restocks take. I know it can take a while. Uh, because things do tend to ship by boat rather than by plane it's quite it's a lot more expensive and um, to actually get things flown rather than shipped when it comes to diamond paintings um, and the size of them and the weight of them it's a lot more economical to send them via boat which is why we're still waiting for the restocks for zesty advent and zesty wolf whereas the original whereas the restocks we did at christmas we actually paid for those to be sent by air um which say is quicker but it is nowhere near as economical. It costs a lot more. So I can imagine that Diamond Art Club probably have container worths of diamond paintings arriving. Um, so it may take a bit for it to restock. But keep an eye out because if it does restock, it, um, it may well go quick according to the talk I've seen. There's many, many people that have it on their wish list so keep an eye out for that email notification i feel very very lucky um, and my stubbornness helped in my not leaving the computer until i was potentially going to be absolutely sure that i could not get hold of one um, and it is my refresh skills and paintings in effect coming either being drip fed or people cancelling them and them being you know restocked back up is what actually got me cosmic in the first instance because I had it in my cart and I lost it as I was paying um, and then it went out of stock but then it actually came back into stock I didn't get it on early release so yeah, stay tuned. Uh, jo, she says, hi Rebecca. She says, this is going to be an amazing painting. She says, because what you've already finished looks wonderful. Yes, and it's based on what I've already finished, that hubby wants it framing. <laughs> uh, she says she's excited for the new trays that are coming to add to a collection. Uh, she said her second set of new tray storage looks a little bit bare at the moment. She says, as always, thank you for your time and for sharing. Oh, thank you all for your support, whether it be through watching and liking the videos or whether it be through purchasing from our shop. Um, it yeah helps me helps me keep sorry I got cut off yeah it all helps me to keep doing what I'm doing um and yeah I'm absolutely loving it 
even if I don't have enough time to diamond paint, but that's probably the story for most of us. Right, I've got a couple to finish off here and then I can peel off the next section. Might even be able to zoom in a little bit more because it'll be a smaller section. That's the section on the end. Probably should have tipped tip these ones into the tray, but I'm here now. There's not too many of them and they lay, this, say this storage pot is really big. So I can actually get hold of ones that are the right way up. So when it's only a few, it's easier to do it that way. Okay, have I got them all? I think so. So let's have a look what the last part is. Ooh, got lots of a couple of ones. Let's, right. I'm just gonna have a rearrange on my desk so that I can zoom in just a little bit more. Get a little bit closer. If you can hear the music, uh, Megan has the music on um, in the kitchen at the moment. So let's start with this bottom one. This pot was quite full, so it wasn't worth me trying to just dip into the pot. But I think I might try and get, I don't know. Ooh. I was thinking I'd try and get all the little bits done so that I'm not struggling with seeing the colors as much. And I'm not sure how much it is or isn't going to help. So I might just keep going across, across here. And if it starts getting a bit bitty, then I might change my mind. So we'll go for the O. Next, a bit of orange. Um, next comment. Oh, Anne Smith, she says, you were right. She says, wow, it is stunning. It is an amazing picture, Cosmic. I do love it. I do like just having a good look at, at, at what I've done when the section's finished. Um, and long may it continue that I feel that way while I'm doing it, um, because it is nice to enjoy a painting all the way through. Uh, but if I find that I'm losing excitement a little bit, then maybe I'll do a bit of this one and then go back to it. Revamp my excitement by doing something else. Um, Ashley, she says, Rebecca, I love watching your videos. She says, they're so relaxing. Thank you. She says, quick question. She said, where did you get the stand that you use for your projects she said she never thought to get a stand until um, she watched my video she says she's just tired of laying her projects flat uh, so mine is an easel it was actually gifted to me uh, by Diana she purchased it from Amazon uh, and had it shipped to me because she's in America but Megan did get one she got one from the works in the UK and if you go on our website admorezest.com under our favourites we do have a link to Megan's easel. Um, it's a really really good price from the works but Diana got mine from Amazon so you can also get them from there but search for an easel. I think it's a A3 easel I think that's the size that we got. It fits on my little table. I have no problems working on my little table with it. Um, it in fact pretty much takes up the base of the table. Uh, Megan's one from the works. She uses a different table, um, a different small table for hers than I do. Um, but for her, she says it, it can slide a little bit. So she either 
put a bigger grip mat underneath the easel to stop it sliding or we have one of those baker sheets like a grippy baker sheet um, that you can use in the kitchen we have one of those and she just sits that on the table before she sits her easel on there and it stops it sliding about but they are really good they're so much nicer on your back the only painting I now do flat is my heaven and earth design and that is primarily because my tablet um, I need to be able to view my tablet to do that one and my tablet sits on top of my heaven and earth design because of the size everything else I do on this easel uh, and when I do my other heaven and earth design that's already printed on the canvas I'll be doing that on the easel because it's so much easier right letter L 939 which has actually got a slight purple hint and here we get the diamonds that are stuck in the storage get them to fall into my tray so yeah highly recommend I think the one from the works is only about £10 as well so it's not too expensive at all uh, Jeep Girl she says thanks for keeping me company she says while she worked on Melody from Diamond Art Club uh, she says she loves Cosmic and she hopes to get it. She said, hope you feel better, much love. Thank you. I think it's the runny nose now that's uh, driving me up the wall more than anything else. That and my voice goes every now and then, especially when I'm doing longer videos. So if I start sounding very croaky, then that's why. Uh, Anna, she says, thanks for the chat while I diamond paint. Uh, she said she just went to Cara Art to order Fox Girl. Uh, she said, but unfortunately, she did have to cancel. She said she can't um, see paying almost the same price, she says, for shipping to the US as the cost of the painting. Yeah, shipping paintings to the US is not cheap. I will say that it's the it's the bulk it's the it's the length of the boxes that often does it um I know some companies are able to find a deal you know if more are ordered because the length tends to stay around the same um but a lot of the the shipping that we offer a lot of the problem and the price increase is due to the length of it which is why a lot of our items the reason we're able to ship them for less is that they fit in in a post box size box one that can just get popped through a letter box or popped into a mailing a mailbox um that's why we tend to get away with a lower shipping cost than diamond painting companies can uh, but maybe they'll be able to get a deal with another supplier at some point, another courier that will give them a bit of a better price that they can pass on. But yeah, it's not always pretty. Uh, Crafty Jane Newton said, thank you for sharing. She said, your painting's very pretty. Thank you. Uh, Diamond Painting Lisa, she said, you're always so neat. Uh, she said she always feels that her squares don't look as neat. Well, there's a couple of things with that. I think we're always more critical of our own placement of squares. That can make a difference. Um, I do. I have found with that Diamond Art Club one that I can actually place them neater if I have the light pad on than if I have my light pad off. Um, normally, if the light is still decent outside, if it's daytime, I don't use the light pad. 
but I found with the Diamond Art Club one, I actually need the light pad on all the time to be able to see clear enough to place them neat enough. Um, I have had a lot of practice as well. I have been diamond painting for years and I'm generally fussy in relation to straightness anyway. Um, so I think that actually helps me um, in the fact of getting stuff straight. But I also find that I can get things straighter if I use the step method. Uh, it's not as easy to show you when you're only doing two. Um, but when I'm doing, when there's more than two, if I do the stairs method or the step method, I find I can often get my diamond straighter because I'm coming in at from an angle and I'm tucking them into two that are already there. So you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're putting down your first one to make sure it's straight, but then you can use your others to straighten up. And also if you do have one that's a little bit off, a little bit off, putting the next one down, you can nudge it into place as you're doing it, which can help you to straighten up as you go along if you've not done it straight in the first instance. So yeah, that can help. Uh, Tanya says, hi Rebecca. She says, Cosmic is looking amazing so far. Uh, she said, do you find Diamond Art Club square diamonds better than in the past? She says, love your channel and all that you do, thanks. Uh, yes, the diamonds on Cosmic are a lot better than the diamonds I had with Mama Knows Best which was a big disappointment for me in relation to the diamonds uh, when I got that one a few years ago. In fact, most of the ones, or maybe even all of the ones I've done from Diamond Art Club since have been rounds. Um, because they're rounds I've never had a problem with, but they're squares I definitely did. Um, but Cosmic is a lot, lot better. There is still the odd colour that isn't as nice a quality as some of the other colours. But I find that with pretty much every premium, premium diamond painting manufacturer, it's always the same. There is always a couple of colours that never seem to be, you know, quite as amazing quality as other ones in the kit. But when the diamond painting's all put together, you can't tell. You can only tell when you're working on it. Uh, and it's probably the same with Cosmic. There is one or two that I'm finding aren't quite as sharp and as crisp. But overall, oh yeah, the diamonds are so much better. It is such a nice painting to work on. Even with that, you know, one or two colours that aren't as nice. It doesn't take away from the enjoyment of working on the painting because as soon as those diamonds are nestled in with all the others, you can't tell. You really can't tell at all. So, um, Alice, she says, can I just say, she says she gets so excited uh, when she can see that I've put up a video. <laughs> Awesome, so glad that it helps you, Alice. And you get to watch. And there's a few long ones this week. So I've, there's a few shorter ones as well, but there's definitely some long ones, but it's log book week this next week. Um, it's probably gonna be shorter than last month's. Well, last month I was updating two months worth of log book entries. Uh, there's only one month's worth that I'll be doing on the 1st of March. It's the shortest month of the year. I think I've only finished one. I think. I'll have to double check when I get my photos ready for it. Um, but yeah, I think I've only finished one. And I think I only have a couple to add in. So a little bit of a milder month 
so maybe it won't be as long it definitely won't be two hours like the last one was um but it still took a, a fair amount of time to de-kit in fact that one was last week's wasn't it but i've just de-kit uh fox girl vivian fox girl has been de-kitted and put away that always takes a while um amber she says does the new US postal company charge extra charges for shipping when shipped to the US? So the what well, the the new postal courier that we use um the price you see on our website is the price you pay um and it's not any extra that it may cost us, we're meeting that price to use this new courier. Um, though in most instances, it's the same. Um, it's, it's only very, very rarely because they go on size of the box more so than they do on weight. Very, very occasionally, it costs us more to post because it's very light items in a big box. Um, but in general, no. Uh, she said she's a few months back. She says um, on all her purchases, she would get an extra fifteen to twenty dollars charge to her card, and the order wouldn't even go through. But it wouldn't show up on the order. Uh, I am lost in relation to this Amber. We never, so Amber's saying that she she would get an extra charge to her card um, and she figured that's because she was buying from the US, uh, from the UK to the US. Um, we personally never, we, we can't even if we wanted to, do a second charge onto anybody's card. So the price you see when you place your order is the price you pay. Um, the price is in Great British Pounds because we are a UK company. So it will convert to a different amount. So unless that's what you mean, because you pay us in pounds, but your bank will charge it you in dollars because that's what your bank account has, is dollars in it. So it may be the difference between pounds and dollars. There will never be an extra charge from us to your card. So you would need to speak to your bank as to where that extra charge has come from, uh, because that's not paid to us. The only time you may see a second transaction from us is if for example, if you place two orders um, very close together and we haven't shipped them yet and we notice, um, we will combine those orders and refund you any overpayment of shipping. Um, so, yeah, that could potentially be a refund if that's happened. But we tend to... Um, yeah, we put a little note on the refund to say that it's a refund for extra shipping. So double check that they are money taken off and not money given back. Uh, but otherwise, do speak to your bank. It may be that your bank is charging you um, for converting the money to pounds. Um but yeah, she said last time she said she placed an order for the advent calendar. She said she had to pay $30 for shipping. Uh, she says, and that was a lot. Again, that's the bulk. Um, that's because it is a bigger, bulkier box, um, especially the diamond painting. It's the length of the box. So we always make sure that the charge that you're going to pay in shipping is up there before you confirm payment uh, but it is done at cost it's not we don't make money on shipping 
we charge one hour courier charges for shipping internationally. Uh, the only the only orders that ever pay anything for packing are the very very small orders. There's a very small charge for packing, um, and that's it. That's it. Other than that, there is no say. You you get charged what we get charged. So um, yeah, contact your bank Amber because that shouldn't. The the definitely won't be a second charge from us. We never do a second charge. In fact, we couldn't, as I say, even if we wanted to, which we never would, <laughs> because it's not right. Uh, there is no physical way for us to charge your card. Uh, there's, oh, there's a way for us to refund if you're owed a refund on shipping, but there's no way for us to charge more. So ask your bank about that one. Um she also says, Amber also says, she's super excited about the new stock colour uh, and she can't wait to order one herself. She says, so cute. Uh, she's been admiring the colour of my tray, she said, during this whole live. It is a really nice colour. Well, all the new ones are. Um, that's why we picked them. Um, we picked them partly for variety um, and colours that people like and also ones that look nice together as a set of trays because you know they've got to look pretty together as well. Uh, Tasha says the image is stunning she said she'll definitely be buying it when it's back in stock um yes it's cosmic is a gorgeous picture uh nancy she says thanks rebecca she says she has a couple of comments today uh she says firstly she says she's sorry that i have a cold and she does hope that i get over it quickly thank you nancy um she says when you first started this chat she said i thought you might have a cold Yes, it's a bit more there today, but it'll go eventually. Uh, she said, the weather is always talked about here in Canada too. Uh, she says, we're having a much milder winter where she lives. And she said yesterday, which was February the 19th, she said she saw a chipmunk. Um, she says, that little animal should be in hibernation, she said, for another month. Uh, she says she really likes the green tray that I was using last week and she said it will be in her basket as soon as it becomes available. <laughs> well, we'll keep you posted. We're printing like crazy. Printers are going on pretty much all the time. They're in the background now. Um, printing as many of them as we can because you guys are so supportive that we need to ensure we have a really good stock level before we start selling them. Otherwise, we would have orders backed up. And as you guys probably know, I really don't like backed up orders. Um, when a customer orders, I like their goodies to be on the way as soon as is possible um yeah because i just i just think the goods should be in your hands and sometimes you have to wait enough with shipping never mind anything else <coughs> oh okay i thought i may have loads and loads more comments then on cosmic it's actually not too bad but I am going to start filling in some of the gaps rather than doing this number one. I'm going to try and do some of the smaller bits while I read through these last comments. And it may be that I've just not finished this section before we go, but so be it. It will give me something to stick my cover paper sheet to when I cover it back up. 
Uh, Emily says she does enjoy my company while she works. Uh, she says she loves hearing about the other places in the world too. Uh, she says the weather here in Iowa, USA, she said has been a little bit crazy. Uh, it's been going from negative degrees and getting several inches of snow to almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit. She said, so it all melted and made a muddy mess. That's the only thing, isn't it? Snow's pretty until it melts. And then it just turns to either ice or slush or a muddy mess. Um, she says she loves the bright colours on the new space painting. Thank you, Emily. Uh, Fallon says they're so jealous that I got a uh, cosmic trip because I'm stubborn. Uh, she said she wasn't at Ruby level yet, so didn't get early access, uh, so they were unable to get it. Um, while I do get early access emails, I actually didn't get it on early access. I was actually filming a whip and chat when early access went live um, and it was all sold out of early access because I think it was about 20 minutes after the early release um, that I finished the whip and chat. So I didn't get it on early access either. Um, I hung around until general release and managed to get it in my basket but silly me, wasn't logged in. So by the time I got through payment, it had apparently gone out of stock. Um, but then it, they seemed to drip feed a few in. So I actually got it on, like, I think I've been refreshing for about four or five minutes. And all of a sudden, one popped up as available. And this time I was logged in and I actually managed to get checked out. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason that I got one is that I'm stubborn and I probably would have sat there for half an hour before I would have given up and admitted that I wasn't going to get it. Um, but yeah, stubbornness prevailed and I managed to secure one and I'm loving it. But get yourself signed up for the waitlist. It will be just as exciting when it's your turn. Um, so she also said she's been compiling a list of items that she wants from our shop uh, and she's ready for payday. She said there'll be uh, a few items left for her to grab. She says she's really excited for the trays. Yeah, all items in this month's launch were stock items. Um, they are, I think, pretty much all still in stock. We have had one that's gone out of stock, but that's because... We only got half the shipment from our supplier, but the other half of the shipment has turned up, so that will be back in stock again uh, once I get through that pile of stuff I need to process. Uh, that will be back in stock again. Um, yeah, it's the limited edition trays that you have to watch out for, which will be next month's, next month's fun. Um, Danae says uh, they're fairly new to my channel, uh, but they said my whip and chats are by far the favourite that they've heard on YouTube. Uh, they said they think it's just the overall vibe of the conversation. Uh, she said it actually feels like you're chatting with your subscribers, uh, which is so sweet. I love it. I love, absolutely love reading the comments, chatting about them, discussing them, because I do feel like I'm chatting with you all. Um, and I, I too think it's the, it's the best way for me anyway to do it. I feel like I'm connecting with all of you um, through the comments and the chats and everything else. It's one of my favourite videos to make. Um, they're also one of my longest videos but that's fine because they're my favourites to make <coughs> oh, 
excuse me i'm trying to get a few of these little scraggly bits while i'm here i am doing a lot of just dipping into the pot i'm also doing a lot of struggling trying to actually get the pots open because the concept of these pots is great but they're not always the best practical wise right what else do i want to fill in why um Jules said when she first saw a uh, cosmic trip on release day um she didn't really care for it but watching the unboxing and the kitting up she's totally changed her mind it is an amazing picture uh she said she can't wait to see the finished product finish product and she hopes i have a wonderful week thank you <laughs> uh billy says she loves my excitement over cosmic it's contagious isn't it uh she said it's stunning she says she's finishing finished the butterfly uh she says and she's now watching me listening to me on a monday and finishing a basket of pansies uh, a diamond painting of a basket of pansies um Sorry, I'm just trying to find my next colour while, while half chatting, half reading. Uh, she said, work was exhausting but fun. Uh, she said, speaking of weather, because we like, we like to discuss the weather here. Um, she said, USA to get a snowstorm this week, so spring is on hold. I think spring is teasing us this year. It was an absolutely glorious day today. Um, sun was out, it was like, oh, this is beautiful. And then the next thing is freezing again. And you don't know where to put yourself. Um, she says, thanks for the chat and enjoy the week with Megan. Thank you. Yes, Megan and I have enjoyed getting quite a few bits done um, and finalised. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been fun to do something different and have somebody about to do it with so that's always good uh, diamond sparkle chase says that they love the color of the tray i'm using which is the green one so that's definitely a popular one um, and hopefully said that will be on sale soon yes we are crazy printing both blue and green Though we are going to ramp up blue a little bit to try and get that one out. Um, and then we can ramp up green as well. Uh, but it'll be, it'll be ready as quick as possible. Uh, she also says, have a great day from Texas. Thank you. I will have a great day. I've just had a whip and chat with my friends. Um, and then last but not least, comments up to the point I'm doing this video. Um, Britain does say they can't decide if they would prefer another whip, another work in progress of this or of Cosmic Trip or of Dynamic Floral. Well, I chose for you. We've got a bit more done of Dynamic Floral today, though, though it is very, I'm doing it very bitty, this one. Um, but I'm sort of going by comments slash time that I have. But I'm going to tuck that piece under there to keep the rest of that protected. It's very deceiving how sparkly this one really is. But I think next row, next time I'm doing dynamic floral, I think we're really going to start to see... Um, more of the design it's going to really start coming to life but yeah dynamic floral this time we'll be back on cosmic trip next whip and waffle but thank you all so much for joining me huge apologies for the voice that goes in and out and the cold that is lingering about but hopefully it will be gone for good soon um, but yeah, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll speak to you all again soon.